The United Nations Security Council and the Syrian ambassador say they want the same thing. My government is committed to the success of uh, Mr. Kofi Annan's mission. And we are doing our utmost in order to see this mission a successful one. But in Monday's briefing behind closed doors in New York, Annan told the UN there's been no progress in Syria towards implementing a ceasefire. He urged the Security Council to support his call for a deadline. Syria must withdraw its troops from towns and cities by the 10th of April, followed by a ceasefire within 48 hours. Jafari says his government has agreed to Annan's six-point plan as long as it respects Syria's sovereignty. The U.S. government isn't convinced. The United States, for one, uh, would look at these commitments and say yet again that the proof is in the actions, not in the words. Uh, and uh, past experience would lead us to be sceptical. And there's still animosity between Damascus and other Arab nations. Jafari lashed out at the Friends of Syria, calling Sunday's meeting in Turkey a violation and contradiction of Anand's efforts. This is a parallel track set up by the enemies of Syria to compete with Mr. Kofi Annan's mission. Not only maybe to compete, maybe to undermine this mission as a whole. Meantime, the US State Department wants an official agency to help prosecute possible human rights abuses. It's committed $1.2 million towards setting up a Syria Accountability Clearinghouse. It will be run by Syrian representatives and regional organisations with the goals of training Syrian investigators, lawyers and activists about human rights and violations, establishing a secure storage facility for records and forming a prosecutor's unit to collect and analyse evidence which could be later used in court. Under Kofi Annan's careful negotiations, this is the closest Syria has come to seeing an end to the violence, but it's not over yet. The April 10 deadline and the next two days will show the rest of the world whether President Assad and the Syrian opposition forces are serious about peace or just engaging in diplomatic talks which change nothing on the ground. Kath Turner, Al Jazeera at the United Nations, New York.